Hello folks and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today I'm going to be showing you a special 3D print project I've been doing here lately. It is an LED arch lamp. Be right back. Now if this doesn't look like a lot of 3D printed material, you are clearly mistaken here. Each one of these pieces took about 9 to 10 hours to print on average. And the uh, bases, while these are custom designed, I think they took around 15 to 20 hours to print here as well. I mean, there's about, I'd say, there's approximately 15 pieces here. Yep. 15 pieces. Now this, uh, the original arch was designed by a man in Latvia name probably gonna butcher this but Giannis Icarus believe um, I'll link the uh, Thingiverse page as well as his Instagram he's got he does some really cool stuff so definitely recommend following him and checking his projects out here so the base he made for his arch was a little too big for my current printer here but yeah I designed this base essentially it consists of multiple parts these two you print off two of these legs turn off this uh, base which connects to the bottom posts of this arch and then of course this uh, collar piece here so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble that bit here first get these guys out of the way so I'll put them down here they want to fall over the floor <laughs> oh, so what I wanted to do here before I got to the actual process of assembling this here so I wanted to just show you all how to uh, slice this in the slicer I'm using simplify 3d although the instructions uh, they're pretty um, they should work for most things here. So first off, just going to show you what I did for the segments. So I'm going to drag them in here. Now, we, uh, you may have to like throw this in like a, I like to throw it in like open SCAD to do like rotation. I might do another video on that at some point, but essentially I'm just going to rotate it. This time I'm going to rotate on the Y axis. So I'm going to do about 90 degrees. I printed these laying flat. Now the, um, the guy who made this, Giannis, I think it's his name, probably butchering that. He, um... I think he did them like while they're pointing upwards, but I don't think the flash forward is really going to properly allow for that. And this is the way I did it. It worked. So I basically oriented the piece like this. Um, I made it about 140% scale, although it is a bit bigger than what it normally is, but it fit it with the scaling of my printer here. And of course the size of my LED strips, which are like, I think 11 millimeter or something like that. It would, uh, it could fit properly in that little channel. Uh, again, on this, on this newer design, you probably don't need to scale it at all because it has like a bigger channel for the LEDs to go through. And of course, it's multiple pieces, so a lot easier to print. So you don't really need to follow these instructions unless if you want to do it the old way, which is fine. Um, you def and I don't, I mean, I'd probably recommend the other way uh, unless if you don't want to have more assembly to do. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's, you know, I'd definitely recommend doing the uh, newer way just because there's a lot smaller pieces and you don't need to it does it shouldn't theoretically shouldn't take as much time to print as for the uh, intricate settings here whoa that was for a different piece 35 percent is pretty safe there otherwise if you go any lower your piece is going to lose integrity the core is going to be too hollow and it's just going to break on you whenever you try to remove any of the support structure here so go to additions here i used a raft it definitely helped i hit seven millimeter offset from part um, separation distance here if you start getting peeling like if the raft is sticking on the bed properly but it the piece is peeling from the raft lower this number I think it was like 0.15 but I lower it to 0.13 and it seemed to every it sticks really well I might try 0.14 at some point just to see if that'll work just so it's not as much of a tr uh, not so tricky to peel it off the piece off the raft and then raft infill I think that's just default 85% and raft layers three it just the layers on top of like the two initial raft layers that's that works and then of course yeah just make sure include raft generate supporter on of course doing a pi surface so i um i have my bed set to like 100 degrees celsius my head set to 230 i used hatchbox black filament for the most part i used some other brands as well went through about two spools or two kilogram spools of plastic just about i want to say for the whole thing but there's the settings here. There's not a whole lot else you need to adjust. 
One thing I do want to note out is you may want to use the manual support function on Simplify 3D. You see this piece? It's missing a lot. There's going to be a lot of weird uh, weirdness going on. So go to this guy, generate automatic, and then add new support structures. So then you can just click around, add it. I've already printed it, so you know you get the idea. Basically, the uh, dark orange is the support structure. Let me show you all the uh, custom print I made for the legs. Now this piece here, pretty self-explanatory. I would actually recommend lowering the percentage about 25 for the leg pieces that I've modeled. Pretty much the same settings in terms of like raft and all that I kept. Let's go to the leg. I didn't flip this around, but. Yeah, I'd recommend, so we want to go X about 9, or I think negative 90, yeah, okay. Of course, your slicer may behave a little differently, but yeah, basically you want it to be oriented like this. Now, we got the top connector, it's pretty easy, just wrap, no supports. For the whole assembly there, you'll need two of these top pieces, um, the actual, you'll need four legs of course, and one or two collars. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to the assembly process. So to assemble this base, you will need four of these. I have M3 40 millimeter screws. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this other base I pre-assembled already. Everything's pretty snug. You may have to sand some things down here, but I did it to make it as snug as possible so it wouldn't wobble about. Get everyone in a little closer here so you can see the details, so. Just essentially press fit everything in. You gotta make sure this little hole right here is uh, going perpendicular to the legs because that is where the LEDs will go. And of course you want the arch to arch out this way and not the other way. So try not to be a clumsy fool like myself. And for this step here, I recommend getting a power drill. Nothing too fierce, but just something to speed along the process. Gonna put it in the rest of the way with a hand screwdriver. And there you go. That's how you assemble the base. Pretty simple. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble the base here. I'm going to use, for a more permanent parts, I'm going to be using some of this cyanoacrylate glue. And then for uh, less permanent parts, I'm going to use this hot glue gun. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through that here. Okay, so I initially started using this uh, cyanoacrylate glue here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Number one, it's a real pain to keep everything together because you need to keep these pieces together for quite some time. You can try to use the heat gun to try to accelerate the drying process, but in the end, it just wouldn't really hold together properly. I think it's it's more meant for like smaller pieces to be attached to each other. So yeah, I tried like keeping it from sticking into the surface, just real pain overall. Plus the stuff is like, the fume is ridiculous. So yeah, not recommend of course, trying to clamp it down with the vise. So yeah, I just said, screw it, took it all apart, plugged the uh, hot glue gun in and just went to town on with the hot glue gun. Now this particular hot glue gun, I've used it in a few previous videos. I'll link it in the description. I, rec I really recommend it here. Those, that, that single glue stick has lasted me for like this entire project as well as like a few other projects and wiring harnesses I've done. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's like super solid. Um, of course, yeah, the, the glue stick's so big that you don't even worry about keep refilling it, which I love compared to like the cheap El Cheapo ones you get at, you know, your average store, but. Yep, um, see, that screwed up, so all you gotta do is just take the heat gun and boom, there you go, just take them apart and <laughs> start over. So really easy, um, of course, if I need to like take it apart, for if I need to move the thing, which will probably be, you know, in a few months or so, or whatever, whenever I decide to move out of here, um, yeah, I can just take it, I can, you know, put the heat gun on, take the, or separate the pieces into, you know, movable pieces, easy peasy. Of course, I'll figure something out with the LED strips. Just use like connector or something. Shouldn't be too tricky. But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much the whole process here. I mean, it's it, it's it was a super easy build. Try just getting all these glued together and everything still holding up pretty well. Looky here! Wow. So this is half of the arch. 
monumental. Oh my goodness. I think I won't be able to fit it on one of these desks. I'm gonna have to use that type of desk back there. So that'll be the desk that this will go on more than likely. Well, let's, let's go ahead and uh, get the camera panned out here real quick. I think I'm gonna have to take my operations to the floor because the biggest table that I can do this on is currently filled up with my 3D printer right now. So to the floor it is. So don't know if you can see the whole thing in terms of frame here, but that is insane. Okay, I've got a, is it gonna reach? Of course not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it over here just to patch it together. Cause I do not want to get this crap on my carpet. Okay, so just as a perspective here, this is a size 12 US shoe. So yeah, this thing is about um, a little over six and a half feet long. Hmm, problem. <laughs> I don't think I have a desk that big yet. Well, I guess this is a problem to have. Yeah, I don't have a big enough desk for this stinking thing. I think I know the solution here. So here we go, folks. This will be the solution here. A couple of these Linmon tables here, the 59 inch, I'm just gonna do them in an L shape, and that will come to the amount of measurement that I'll need to actually set up the lamp properly here, so. Good to go. Alrighty folks, that concludes part one of this build of the LED arch light. Just wanna thank you all for watching. And if you do did like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing as well if you haven't already. And check out some of these other videos here that are popping up on the screen. And just wanna thank you all for watching again and have a great day.